Hello there and welcome to another Pleasure Beach Experience video. Last week on the channel I was talking to you about markings at Blackpool Pleasure Beach spotted on the old Trauma Towers site. Since that video we have had the late night riding event at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and it turns out that there was a stage where those markings were. However those markings do still remain so are they for a bigger project in the future or are they simply just for the stages on the future late night riding events. There is only now two late night riding events left at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. There's one for Vampire Beach at the end of October, I think it's the 27th of October and then there's another one on the 3rd of November and then that is the end of the late night riding events Blackpool Pleasure Beach this season. So I'm with Mike today, Mike's got his own theories on the markings and the bowlerdrome area. The bowlerdrome has unfortunately taken a little bit of damage in the recent stormy weather in Blackpool and across the UK. I still think that at the end of the season it'll come down and we'll see a replacement for it in the next two or three years maybe. As I said on the markings video, I very much think that a Mac Big Dipper is going to come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I think that coasters are more likely to be built than flat rides here. I think coasters are more likely to be built than dark rides as well to be honest and um, yeah so I'm going to pass you over to Mike and he's going to give you some thoughts on the bowler drone and the markings too. I'm looking specifically here at the bowler drone area now it's had in the last few days there's been some bad weather in these parts I would think a, a big chunk's been knocked off the front of the facade as a result of the bad weather. It's not the first time something like that's happened in Blackpool as a town. The, the bad weather in recent years has caused no end of mayhem in this town. Um, there's also another bit that looks far more uniform in how it's been removed. Now I've got a feeling that they're just being a bit cautious with that and just checking it just to make sure it's all all right under there. Um, the last thing you want is a huge, huge lump of it coming off. Um, but I do think it's a precursor. I think it's, I mean, it's a little coincidental. Um, it just happens that we've had this bad weather. But I've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again. I think that whole building's going anyway. Yeah. Um, within the next 12 to 18 months, I would have thought. Um, ultimately, because I think a coast is going there. In, again, that might be 2020, it might be 2021, who knows. Um, Rumours are forever abounding about Mac. Um, you, may be, you may have seen lost gravity at Wallaby Holland. Now if you take the bowler drone and the car park behind it, that's quite a similar area to what lost gravity at uh, Wallaby Holland covers. It's a very compact coaster for what it does. So that's my thoughts on that area. The markings, purely a stage, purely lining up for the stage for the recent late night riding. And of course, you've got Vampire Beach to come. Uh, so that's my thoughts on it. I'm going to hand you back now to Scott to round up. So that brings us to the end of this fairly short Pleasure Beach experience video. We just thought we'd give you a little update on the markings and the bowler drum. We did create quite a lot of speculation with the markings last week. Not intentionally, but and we weren't the only ones who did it. A couple of the other Pleasure Beach fan sites also covered the subject. But this week as well, we've now seen the damage to the bowler drum, which is obviously going to create debate because just about everyone thinks that it's going to be removed in place of a ride at some point. But yeah, that is it for now. Again, if you've got any thoughts on what we've said or what you think the Pleasure Beach is doing in the coming years, please let us know in the comments. And for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.